All right, everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, we're cutting it close here. We've got a few weeks left before we go on our three week camping trip out west. And I was going to show you a few things we've done to the camper. We've been kind of working non stop on the camper and the truck to get it tuned up. So it's going to be an adventure either way. It's probably going to be absolutely horrible. Uh, I mean, we're going at the absolutely worst time of year. We're going out west in the end of June, and July. Um, we have to take our kids. So, uh, and one of them is one year old. So it's going to be, uh, it's probably going to be a nightmare, but you can follow along by liking the channel and subscribing and see how we transition and, and make this journey. I think it's going to be a total of about 5,000 miles round trip the way we're going to go. But first, I'm going to uh, step up here. I'll show you some of the things we've done. The first thing we've done is we took out the small refrigerator. This is the 2021 Wolf Pup 17 JG. So it normally comes with a little outdoor refrigerator here. Um, we took it out. We made this little coffee bar. We're going to put some uh, little Keurig cups in there. And uh, it just, it, w when I built this built this wall and brought it out, um, it freed up some cabinet space on the inside and it helped a lot. The next thing we've done, I'll show you, is going to be I installed a Max Air fan. Uh, I think some of the black label versions of this come with it. Um, I ordered this one off Amazon for about $120. It's a pretty simple install. Um, I'm going to get up there and show you that. I've showed you this ladder before if you've watched any of our videos. This is probably the best way to take, take with you to check your roof when you're camping. If you ever need to get up there for anything. Alright, let's go up on the roof and let's get this checked. So this ladder is pretty easy to climb. You can hear the air conditioner running there. So the version of the Max Air we got comes with this little smoked cover. You just unbolt it. The easiest thing, the hardest thing to do is just making sure when you're taking off the old one and you're pulling up that uh, lap sealant that you don't tear your roof. It's really important. Um, it's really thin, so just take a, a little putty knife and peel it back. About to give it a bath, give it washed off, clean the solar panel off. But that is a huge improvement. I highly recommend that. It does move a lot of air, so you can, it's almost like a, uh, an attic fan in the house, but that's definitely worth it. Now let's go back down the ladder and I'll talk about a few more things. All right, one final thing that I'm gonna show you that's a uh, lifesaver is um, tinting the windows. Now I use this, you order this off Amazon, I think it's like 15 bucks, I'll show you the box here in just a minute. Uh, I got this with this large window done. It is kind of tricky getting it behind some of the screen, but it kind of blacks it out, helps keep the heat out. And it's just static clean. You just kind of cut it uh, and you spray it with soapy water to make sure the window's clean. Spray it with soapy water. I just took a uh, debit card and just kind of used to work the air bubbles out. And so it's, there's no glue, but it sticks on there great. And you can just peel it off if you screw up or don't do a good job. You can kind of tell the difference. I haven't done this window yet. I'm about to do that. But it gives the camper a whole new look. And it does help block the sunlight from coming through the windows and uh, keeps a lot of the heat out. So, yes, the window tent, I highly recommend. Uh, the last thing we're probably gonna do in the next couple of days, and you can see videos. Um, I know that a guy's got a video out there, especially for this camper, for the fresh water tank. Um, the way they have the, I guess, uh, vent is not properly done. So, you gotta run a hose to help the, be able to be able to hold your maximum fresh water tank. We are taking two five gallon fresh water bladders on the road with us that will help us um, when we do boondock have hopefully have enough water uh, and that'll be good for that so I may, I may make a video of that but there's a good video online um, let's go over this way uh, said in the video before we were driving a 05 Silverado has 316,000 miles on it we have it pretty well tuned up it's like it's going to be an adventure so stick around I'm not sure how many videos we'll have in the next couple weeks like I said we're leaving in about three weeks and um, we're gonna go from there. So uh, when, when, when we do leave, we'll be gone. I don't know, I may upload some little short clips of um, that I am able to edit on my phone. And then when we get back, you'll see you know, several, several episodes of ho hopefully a good trip. We're going the northern route through Kansas into Denver and Colorado, into Utah, down through Arizona, through Texas and Florida. So it's gonna be a long journey. Um, we hope you stick around, like, and subscribe. Um, it's going to be interesting. So uh, you see camping videos all over YouTube. 
and um, this one this one's gonna be something different because these people I'm traveling with are a little bit crazy and um, hopefully we can keep our sanity but thanks for watching guys I know this wasn't you know a super exciting video but thanks for watching uh, we'll see y'all soon